Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector Channel, where we are a community of collectors. If you've been part of the Potter Collector Channel for a while, you recognize this box. It is the latest Accio box, the September Accio box, as well as their fifth in a series of six featuring the Golden and Silver Trio, the Golden Trio being Ron, Harry, and Hermione, and the Silver Trio being Neville, Ginny, and Luna. The only two characters that we have not unboxed for yet are Ginny and Neville. So we shall see who is featured in this box. Let's take a look at the box quickly. On the front it says, Fragile Contents, please handle with care. The Accio Box logo. And on this side, Magic Delivered. Find out more about Accio at AccioBox.com. And speaking about AccioBox.com, they have just launched a brand new website. Check it out if you have not seen it yet. If you are new to the Potter Collector channel, welcome. We are happy to have you here. And if you have missed the previous four unboxings in this current series, the Accio Box is doing a series of pins. So when you collect all six of them, they create like a round stained glass looking motif and it features the character's Patronuses. So I'm excited to see Ginny's or Neville's Patronus, specifically Neville's because his Patronus has never taken a form in the book. So we've never actually seen what his Patronus is gonna be. So I don't know what AccuBox is gonna do, but if this is Neville's box, we will find out. And the box has been opened. And what's this? Oh, there's a packing slip and I saw something on it. I saw a size medium and it's highlighted, which probably means that there's a t-shirt in here. And you guys know I love the Accio Box t-shirts, which is actually what I'm wearing right now. This is one of their staff t-shirts. They came out with this magical shop staff line, turning you into a staff member for these magical companies like the night bus, for example. So, I think there's a shirt in here we'll probably have to magically change into, oh, okay. I know who's featured in this month's box. Miss Ginny Weasley. So we have a piece of cloth that says the Weird Sisters World Tour 1994. Is this like a patch? Like one of those patches that maybe you like put on I think that may be what it is. We'll see what the cheat sheet tells us, but I'm guessing this might be like some sort of patch or something. The Weird Sisters are a magical band in the wizarding world. They sing songs like Magic Works and Can You Dance Like a Hippogriff? So this would have been from the world tour that they would have done. And it looks like Ginny Weasley went to their concert. So we're gonna put this aside. I think it's like some sort of patch. But in addition to the patch, we have a concert ticket. And it says Wizarding Wireless Network presents Weird Sisters Car Kit Market, July 10th, 1999 in London, Saturday and no broom arrival. So this is actually a perforated ticket. So you could break off the ticket stub on the end if you wanted to display the ticket as kind of used. Now, what I'm confused about is this says 1999 on the ticket, but world tour from 1994. So these items don't necessarily go together. So that's interesting. I think we'll probably get more information when we look at the cheat sheet. But taking a look at the ticket, this is a fun like display print sort of thing. It's on this nice thick card stock. The printing is great. The design looks just like a concert ticket. And it's fun to imagine what wizards and witches would use to get into a Weird Sisters concert, for example. Or in Mrs. Weasley's case, a Celestina Warbeck concert. And you guys know I I love the silver foiling on it. The Niffler in me loves himself some shiny foiling. All right, we have a little pouch that has the Accio logo on it. And it's a bracelet. It's a metal bracelet and it says, anything's possible if you've got enough nerve. That is of course a quote by Miss Ginny Weasley. Now the bracelet is very small. I'm not sure if this is gonna fit my wrist. It just fits my wrist. So this is definitely something for someone who has a smaller wrist. It's a very thick metal bracelet. So I definitely feel the quality of the piece and I like that the words are etched into the bracelet itself. That said, this is not something I would ever wear and it is a little bit too small to fit on my wrist. So it's almost like this item was really meant for someone with a smaller wrist, for a kid or for a woman. So if you have a larger wrist, this isn't gonna fit you. All right, it's pin time. We have the protector stained glass pin for Miss Ginny Weasley, which features a horse. Ginny Weasley's Patronus is a horse. It is number five out of six. And each of these pins, it's like a little pizza slice. And once you have all six pieces, as I mentioned earlier, they fit together to create one large pin motif. And each of the pins has a word on it 
like a Latin word on it that has something to do with that particular character. And Ginny's word is Fortitudo. Fortitudo, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but we're going to head over to our trusty friend, Google and see exactly what fortitudo means. My guess is that it's gonna mean something like strength or like underestimated maybe? Cause Ginny is kind of an underestimated character and she's like actually a really strong witch. Fortitudo means courage or fortitude. And fortitude means courage, you know, within pain or adversity. Ginny was definitely a courageous character, especially in the Battle of Hogwarts when she thought that Harry had died. She still fought and had courage, even in sadness or pain. And the pin is absolutely beautiful. I've said this in every single one of these Accio unboxings before. These pins are thick, they're well made, they feel high, high quality. I very much enjoy the design of these and cannot wait to see them all together. I am not taking any of the pins off of their backing until we have all six together. So tune in next month when we open up Neville's box. That's gonna be the first time I put all the pins together and show you guys and myself because it'll be the first time that I'll see it. But Ginny's pin is no different from the others. Very nice design, that horse is just exploding off of the pin itself. And again, I love that whole stained glass look and feel of these pins. Now the AccuBox is creating this wooden display piece that can be hung on the wall. I know I looked at my wall, I don't actually have it here, but like I imagined looking over and seeing it on my wall. But that's gonna be a way to display all six of the pins in one single kind of artwork piece. All right, let's take a look at the t-shirt, shall we? The t-shirts, the holy head Harpies. Now, the Holyhead Harpies, that is the team that Ginny Weasley played for. It's an all-female Quidditch team. And we have a golden snitch featured on the front. The back features the Accio logo. And the sleeve says, the league's only all-witch sports team. Love the color, love the logo. You guys know I'm a seeker, so anytime there's a golden snitch on a t-shirt, love it. I will say it's not my favorite shirt from the Accio box, but I definitely do like it. I think we need to magically change into this shirt. And here we go. I'm now a fan of the Holy Head Harpies. This shirt actually reminds me a lot of an Oakland A's t-shirt. Like it's like Oakland A's colors and I'm an Oakland A's fan, so that's perfect for me. The printing on here is thick, but it's not so thick that it's not gonna move around and you know move with you. And another thing I love about the AccuBox shirts is they wash really well. I've never had an issue with artwork falling off or peeling off or anything. So whatever you guys are doing, keep it up. But just like the other Accio shirts, super soft. I love anytime there's artwork on the sleeve itself. I think that just adds to the quality and the overall feel of the piece. So overall, another successful AccuBox t-shirt. And I love Quidditch, so this is perfect. Actually, we have two Quidditch t-shirts now. We have a Chudley Cannons t-shirt and now a Holyhead Harpies. So AccuBox, is this a new theme that we may be able to continue? There is another, oh, there are two more items. All right, one of them is a candle and it says Arnold, which of course is the name of Miss Ginny Weasley's Pygmy Puff. And the scent is cherry, raspberry, and vanilla. It's made by Highland Bluff Studio. It's a natural soy candle. I love the smell of vanilla. I do not like cherry and I don't like raspberry. So let's see if the combination of all three will make me like it. I don't dislike it. It's very perfumey, but fruity and sweet. I actually really like this. I'm getting more of a raspberry and vanilla scent than a cherry scent. I have to say, I really like this combination of smells. Now, I don't usually keep or burn candles. It's very rare that I keep and burn a candle. This is one that I could see keeping and burning. Like, I wanna eat it, it smells that good. Like, I love fruit snacks, and this is making me want a big bucket of fruit snacks. I just don't think it would taste like fruit snacks if I ate it. I'm a big fan of how Arnold smells. All right, we have the cheat sheet and what looks like a print. We have a print of Miss Ginny Weasley. Now this artist we have seen in the Luna as well as the Hermione boxes. Now we have a third for Miss Ginny Weasley. These watercolors were done by Sarah Brown and now we get to see her interpretation of Ginny Weasley. She has a bunch of things levitating around her. Advanced Defense Against the Dark Arts. We see Arnold on her shoulder. She's wearing a Holyhead Harpies t-shirt. There's a golden snitch rolled up parchment that has the bat bogey hex on it, which is her very famous and very powerful hex. We have her wand sticking out of her pocket. She looks very casual, very cool. And of course that bright red hair. Now, the one thing that I mentioned when we looked at the Hermione as well as the Luna artwork, I wish that the artwork itself had been scaled down a bit. 
My personal preference is to have a smaller artwork. So if this were scaled down kind of half size and centered in the middle of the page, you'd have all this white border surrounding the artwork itself to just draw your eyes into it. And then it could be framed with a mat or something. But I mentioned it for the other two and I still feel the same thing for this one. That said, looking at the artwork itself, it is very well done. I love watercolor artwork. This is a beautiful third piece in that series of three that we've already seen from the Accio Box and Sarah Brown. All right, let's take a look at the cheat sheet. The Accio Profit, the magical world's most unique subscription box choice. The Fierce Femme, being the youngest and only girl in a house full of boisterous boys, means having to develop a strong sense of self and a fearless attitude. And that's just how we describe this witch. And while she's loyal, witty, and definitely cunning, we suspect it was her bold attitude and the strength of her convictions that landed her with the lions. Let's give it up for that heroic harpy, the queen of the bat bogey hex, and our favorite feisty ginger, Ginny. Harpy's Team T. It's fitting that this ultra sporty member of the Silver Trio spent her career speeding around on a broomstick. And this super soft throwback tee celebrates her athletic achievements with one of our favorite teams. Features our take on the Harpies logo on the front and a sleeve detail highlighting the unique nature of the team's all-female roster. Designed in collaboration with Wade Kelly of Work Wagon Designs. Magical Rock Show Souvenir Set. We can't send you to the magical world to see Ginny's favorite band in concert, but you can feel like you were there with this set of souvenirs, including a replica ticket with foil detail and an artfully distressed canvas punk patch. Made in-house so you won't find it anywhere else. Patch designed in collaboration with Wade Kelly of Work Wagon Designs. Anything's Possible Stamped Bracelet. The next time that you need an encouraging word to help you channel your inner Ginny, look no further than this lovely silver-toned steel bracelet stamped with one of her best-loved quotes. An Accio exclusive you won't find in any shop. This bracelet comes in a soft black velvet bag to keep it scratch-free and polished when not in use. Protector Stained Glass Pin. We're so excited to bring you the fifth in our series of exclusive stained glass pins featuring the protective animal spirits for each of the characters in the golden and silver trios. When collected as a set, they will form a complete circular window motif. Collect all six along with our exclusive custom designed frame that will allow you to display them beautifully as a piece of wall art. Watercolor Print by Willow and Roxas. We fell in love with artist Sarah Brown's style and knew we had to include her art in this series. Lovingly hand-painted in watercolor, this piece was custom designed just for our subscribers and features our favorite quirky witch surrounded by all the things that make her unique. You can look forward to more of Sarah Brown's work throughout this series. Be sure to check out her Etsy shop for more beautiful artwork at willowandroxas.etsy.com. Now, I'm pretty sure that that's the same write-up that they had for Luna, so if you recognize it, that may be why. Arnold Scented Candle by Highland Bluff Studio. This scented candle tin by longtime subscriber favorite Highland Bluff Studios features notes of cherry, raspberry, and vanilla, and smells as sweet as fluffy little Arnold himself. Made from natural soy wax, this four ounce candle should burn for approximately 20 hours. An exclusive scent created just for our Accio Box customers. Visit highlandbluffstudio.com to see more nerdy scented candles from a variety of fandoms. Let's take a look at some favorites and least favorites here. This is a rare moment, guys. This is a very rare moment on the Potter Collector channel that I pick a candle as my favorite item. Like it's just, I wanna eat it. Like I want to eat it. I also love the t-shirt as well as the pin. Least favorite items would be the bracelet. It's just way too small. I mean, I understand it probably fits a lot of wrists, but if there was a way to put out a bracelet that fit on everybody's wrists, I think that would have been a more successful item. So while this wasn't my favorite Accio box, it still produced three great items. The pin, this t-shirt, and of course, the delicious smelling candle. What about you guys? What do you think about the box as a whole? What were your favorite items? What were your least favorite items? Let me know and let the rest of the Potter Collector community know in the comments down below. If you would like to subscribe to the Accio Box, check the description down below. There is a link as well as a coupon code to save 15% off of a single box purchase. That coupon code is Potter Collector 15. Now it's not too late to purchase the Neville Box 
There are still some available, so if you would like to purchase that box, again, check the description down below for a link. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram, at the Potter Collector, or on Twitter, at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?